The Crown has opened its prosecution of the Comancheros gang boss on drug and money laundering charges. It's nearly a year and a half since a huge police operation raided 10 properties across Auckland, connected to the motorbike club in a bust which netted millions of dollars of property and cars. Jordan Bond reports. It was one of the police's major busts last year, a raid on the fledgling New Zealand chapter of the Australian Comancheros motorcycle gang. 80 police officers made a total of 12 arrests and seized millions of dollars of property, luxury cars, wads of cash and a gold-plated Harley-Davidson. Charges were laid against those arrested, all splintering off into various pleas, sentencings and trials. Today, 17 months after the arrests, one of the biggest of these, the trial of the president, Pasilika Naufahu, began. Crown Prosecutor David Johnston opened the case against him and said until the police intervened, he and his friends were living large. Brand new Range Rover after brand new Range Rover. A, a lovely house in Bucklands Beach Road. Residents at one of the apartments on the wharf at Key Street. Trips out on the harbour on a luxury launch. A Lamborghini, a Rolls Royce, a Bentley. Ostentatiously designed motorcycles. But with that amount of luxury, Mr Johnston says, came some difficulty. The problem, of course, was how to hide the crimes that were generating all this money. There needed to be a lot of secrets kept and there needed to be a lot of pretending done. He claims there were two main strands to the generation and the concealment of the money. Including the links that various members of the group had to drug dealing. The fact that the group used a concreting business to pretend to pay salaries. That portion is central to the Crown's argument, the establishment of a concrete business, which some of Mr Nalfahu's co-defendants are alleged to have links with. Four others are on trial with Mr Nalfahu on other charges, Connor Clausen, Wewini Hakaraya and two others who have name suppression, including a media personality. This morning, a jury of nine men and three women was selected from a group of dozens, spread across two different courtrooms and all wearing masks. Some of the jury are sitting at makeshift cardboard desks to allow them to be spaced apart, and all are shielded by plastic screens. The trial continues with the defence opening their case tomorrow. Atawiti Kote Matua, Itamaki Makoto for Checkpoint, called Jordan Bond. Aho.